now industrial craft is the mod that has all the conflicts like I said you don't need to install all the mods I'm installing you probably you could install them all just as a test so you could learn everything uh, I'm trying my best to explain as best as possible I know I'm probably not doing the best job but uh, I'm hoping I'm doing a decent enough job uh, so this is how I install industrial craft you just drag and drop and to do to inst and this is going to be the mod that has the most conflicts I can guarantee it because I believe the mod it conflicts with the most is Pam's Harvest Craft or yeah it's Harvest Craft and you'll see the screen that pops up in a second the gray screen as I call it uh, do, 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 do. any second now it'll pop up there you go and 12 is already occupied by Kern okay uh, this is what I suggest doing when, whenever uh, with industrial craft when you have these conflicts. Drag this out to the desktop like you did with Weeping Angels when it conflicted with one of the other mods. Open up Minecraft. Um, Windows 7 has, I don't know if you're running on an older operating system, you might not have it, but Windows 7 has this thing called uh, Sticky Notes. It really comes in handy. Um, if you want to like just really r r type out something you can just use notepad if you don't have windows 7 note with sticky notes or something but um all you gotta do is go start type in sticky notes and it'll be the top one but uh okay so something like that okay and now this is where trying to figure out what block ids are open now you see there's a lot right I believe there's a lot in between the archaeology mod and and no there's time machine skull okay uh, what I suggest I know there's a lot of empty slots where was it between here and here oh these two 219 to 256 so what I would do I w this is how I make mods more compatible. I figure out what block IDs are not being in use, which is why I use too many items. And what you do, um, you see, pl Plinth, whatever that is, 219, okay, that block ID is in use. But if you go to the sh Iron Shovel, it goes Iron Shovel 256. Now, 256 is where block IDs end and item ID start so 219 you type in since 219 is in use I suggest typing 220 through 255 the reason I say 255 is because 256 is being used by an iron shovel now all those blocks in between there you can substitute for industrial craft I'll show you what I mean in a second now the problem with industrial craft is, let me save and quit real quick. Now, I don't know of a better way to uh, explain that really, so pretty much find the block IDs that are conflicting with each other. Um, open up Minecraft, take one of the mods out, and look for empty slots, and when you find an empty slot, like 220 is an empty slot right now because it's there's no no blocks in use in between those two numbers see and just use 220 for that block since it's not being in use so oh there you go they're not all dead anymore they live okay uh, so that's that's the best way I can explain it but the problem with industrial craft is that the config for industrial craft doesn't generate unless the game starts so what you need to do put industrial craft back in the into the mods folder and drag out harvest craft harvest craft is the mod that industrial craft conflicts with but you can have both eventually if you do this correctly just follow the exact steps that I'm doing log into minecraft oh well 
Mm-hmm. Now, the game should start unless it's conflicting with Earthcraft 2, which it might. Hmm. Yeah, you might have to drag out both Earthcraft and Industrial Craft. Oh, wait, no, that's, um, Weeping Angels mod. Okay. Um, drag out the Weeping's, Weeping Angels mod, too. Uh, just exit. Try again. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm back. Uh, so where was I? Uh, yes, trying to get Industrial Craft working. Uh, I start up Minecraft. Okay. Now, since I have those two mods on the desktop now, Minecraft should start. Hmm. <laughs> as long as it starts, we're good, because then the config will be created and uh, we'll be able to edit it. Okay. Good. 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 Now, just go into creative mode and see if the blocks are all there. Ba da ba da, da 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 da. Uh, okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. there's this is. Okay, okay. Ah, here we go. <laughs> See, just to make sure it works. Double checking. Wait, I'm in, am I? Yeah, I'm in creative mode. Okay, good, good. Just a quick check. Make sure my game doesn't crash when that thing blows up. Three, two, one. Blow up! I said blow up! There you go. Oh, really flings me back. I'm sorry, Melon there. I just had to test it. Oh, and looks like we have the ores from. Pam's Harvest Craft, I believe that's copper, and we have Fossil Mod, and then we have the orange well, stone. Okay, uh, now... Yeah, I gotta fix that. Okay, now we have to edit it so these IDs will work. Uh, mod folder, Weeping Angels, uh, okay, uh, drag, you can drag these files back in there. You should be, now I get to show you what to do. Okay, you will go back into main Minecraft folder, and you will see a folder called config right here. You open that up, and you will see something that says IC2. Now, you can you uh, normally default, I believe, to open this is probably Notepad, or you can use a program called Notepad++, which is another free program. Uh, I'll just, well, might as well just open up because. Notepad++ makes everything look a lot nicer. Okay, this shows you all the block IDs that are being used by Industrial Craft. And there are quite a lot, which is why I selected that. And there's about 35 open slots, right? Well, yeah, 35. So what you do, you start from, this is what you have to do in order to get this working. Uh, oh, it looks like those slots. I don't really have to edit very much. Oh, well, I'm just going to edit from the beginning. So what you do, you start from here. You start. It, see, these are all open block IDs that are not in use right now. So pretty much all you need to do, just follow exactly what I do in order to get this work so no conflictions will happen. You start from 220, so pretty much start from 220, 220, and from there, 220. Then you type in 221, 222, 220. 3, 224, 225, 226, and just keep going from there till you make it to 255, 7, 228, 
You just keep going. Just keep going. Two forty-six. Wait. Yeah. Two forty-seven. Two forty-eight. Two forty-nine. Two fifty. Two fifty-one. Two fifty-two. Two fifty-three. That cut it close. And that's pretty much what you have to do. You see, all those block IDs were not in use. So pretty much, let's say you have, uh, best I can explain it is, let's say you have a car. Okay, let's say you have a car. And there are four tires go on a car, obviously. Now let's say there are only three tires on that car. And you have to pretty much and each tire slot, well, each spot where a tire would go were labeled A, B, C, D. Or 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go with 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have an extra tire, you have a tire, but you, it originally went in tire slot 1. And 1 is has a, already has a tire in there. So you have to try to find an opening for a tire. 1, 2, and 4 are, are in use by other tires right now. So the only open spot right now is tire th oh, slot 3. So you only place you put tire 3, or tire in, is in slot 3. And I have a terrible metaphor for that. And, uh, yeah. So pretty much, these are all tire, tires. And you have to find the empty slots for the tires to go in. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, not even sure if I should keep that in. <laughs> but uh, just, okay. What you do now is you save and once you save it you can drag back in. Oh, I already put industrial craft back in. Now it should work. No, it should work. Unless there's some hidden block using one of those slots, it should work. <sighs> okay, Mojang. Come on, come on. Any second now, it'll either go to the main menu or the gray screen. Oh, main menu. Okay, it looked like there's a good chance it might have worked. Okay, we'll go into the world. Now we will see if we will have industrial craft installed. Okay, someone just broke their legs. Probably them over there. I wish they could like repair the ground and stuff. That would be a cool feature to milliner. Maybe they do and I just don't know about it. Okay, now. Okay, this is all from, oh wait. Since, here, okay, here's all the blocks right here. It started at, 220. Remember how I told you to start? Uh, yes. Uh, remember how we started block alloy, well, alloy? 220. Remember how I marked 220 for that? Well, if you look in the game, block number 220. Uh, some reinforced stone. It's a different name, but I'm pretty sure it's block alloy. Oh, al alloy. But see, all the names 220. For some reason, 223 is missing. But yeah, so pretty much it all worked. Worked out. All the blocks are in. Uh, even the where's the nuke got changed. But pretty much it worked. And uh, I'm sorry for destroying your uh, tree farm. Uh, okay, but uh, that's pretty much how you in change block IDs. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to. Uh, that metaphor that I made, I don't even know if I should just leave that in there, just get rid of it. It's something that, eh, I don't know. Eh, I made a metaphor. If it's if I left it in there, you could be laughing at me right now if you want, because it's a, a terrible me metaphor for trying to figure out how to find a block ID that's open. So I probably, actually, I'm thinking of just getting rid of it now, because I don't like it. I just don't like it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a. G I'm testing to see if it is installed. If I can get it to work, which it is industrial craft. Oh, we got ourselves a rubber tree. 
And in order to see if a rubber tree, you gotta skip through all that stuff. Um, oh, and here's all the items. Normally item IDs do not conflict because they like use such large numbers. And I think Forge helps correct it if there is a problem. Not sure though. Coffee powder. What does that do? Hops. What, beer? We have beer. <laughs> what is this? Weedex? Well, this must be from, um, I'm guessing industrial craft because it's in that section. But, uh, okay, um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was trying to get the rubber off the tree. Electric tree tap. I'm in an... Oh, okay. Oh, well, it seems to work. It seems to work. So, there's industrial craft. Industrial craft and build craft are now installed correctly, along with all the other mods that I have. 